Hello people and welcome to the first look of FaceTime on Android. So on my left side, I have my Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus and on the right side, I have another iPhone. I think this is the iPhone 11 Pro Max also. So in the middle is the only phone currently running iOS 15. This is currently on beta, so this might not be smooth, but let's just still check it out. As you can see, FaceTime looks really different compared to what we are used to. It has this whole new look going for it. I think the look has been revamped. This is what the current one currently looks like. It's way simple and I kind of like it. So what you have to do is to copy the link in your FaceTime. I'm going to share with my Android device first. There you go. That's the link. I'm also going to share with the iPhone on my right. So that is it. Once you have both links on both devices, all you have to do is to start the FaceTime call. So your friend or whoever you send this to is also going to open the link. And you get an option to input your name, just like Zoom. You put your name in what you want people to see you with. The person that started the call gets the option to review anybody that wants to join the call up top. As you can see, I'm going to allow them into the call. And that is it. You have FaceTime running on your Android, any, any Android device or Microsoft device out there. So this is quite simple. This is still in the beta, so it's kind of buggy. As you can see, this is the grid view and the call has kind of ended. But basically, this is how to go about it. Just like running a Zoom call or anything like that, you're going to create the link, share with whatever device you want to start call with. Once they enter, they input their names or whatever they want to be known for. Then you accept and you're good to go. You can actually have your FaceTime calls with your loved ones, your friends. And it's quite simple. Up top, you actually get the option to copy the link and share it to whoever you want to share with when the call has even started. And also, you get an option down there to turn off the notification so anybody can just easily join the call whenever it's going on. So this is a really fast one. This is a quick view of FaceTime on Android or Microsoft devices. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel. Let's go.